is a large part of most children's lives. For children with diabetes, school can present some challenges when it comes to maintaining a diabetes care routine. With proper planning and communication between school staff, guardians, and the diabetes care team, it's possible to minimize these challenges and have a healthy school day every day. Students with diabetes need access to their supplies at all times during the school day. This includes their everyday diabetes kit, snacks to treat low blood glucose, and their blood glucose checking devices, including any glucometers or continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, technology to check their blood glucose. The Everyday Diabetes Kit should be brought to school every day so it's always with the child. You can also choose to keep some supplies at school, but be sure they are always accessible. If you keep supplies at school, they should include at least a glucose meter, it may be different than the one used at home, blood glucose test strips, a lancing device and lancets, glucose tablets, glucose gel, juice boxes, or other sources of fast-acting glucose. Emergency glucagon kit, preferably kept with the child with T1D. Granola bars or other small snacks. Ketone strips. As diabetes technology evolves, it has become increasingly common for the devices to connect to smartphones or smart watches. Some students with diabetes may have their continuous glucose monitor or insulin pump connected to a smartphone. In the event of a test or quiet time in the classroom, the student will still need access to these devices. For standardized tests, the diabetes care team can provide a letter to make sure their devices and supplies are still accessible for diabetes management purposes. Standardized tests are a special case that needs to be included in a student's accommodation plan for school. We'll discuss school accommodation plans for diabetes in a future video. Diabetes supplies and devices must be accessible at all times, during class, in the locker room and during gym class, on field trips, during after-school activities, on the bus, and during uncommon situations like fire, tornado, or shelter-in-place drills. Any snacks or diabetes supplies kept in the classroom will also need to be accessible even if the teacher is not present, like on days with a substitute teacher. It's best to prepare for these situations before they take place so the child is not without their supplies when they need them. A child's school accommodation plan can help school staff prepare for these situations. In the next video, we'll discuss different types of school accommodation plans and what each type of plan offers for students and school staff.